Hello, Jess Too Good here, and today I went to Legoland, which is kind of far from where I'm at. It's a pilgrimage <laughs> to get the new Lego Monkey Kid sets because people were saying they were at Legoland stores. Well, those weren't there. They were actually pulled this morning, so I could have got it if I went like two days ago. But they did have the new Ninjago set. So I actually got two sets that I did not think I was going to get from this new Ninjago wave, which completes the Ninjago wave with the Jungle Dragon and then the Sea Battle. I got these because I was going to spend like, I don't know, 400 to 500 on Monkey Kid sets today because they're so freaking expensive. And since those weren't there, I was like, people have been requesting the heck out of me reviewing these. And I mean, this set I really like. The reason it wasn't on my wanted list was because I didn't plan on getting it because I always buy Lloyd's Dragons and for some reason I don't review most of them. I mean, I don't even build most of them. So I was like, okay, I have the Ninjago movie Lloyd Dragon. I haven't built that, but uh, I think Jessica Mom did. So anyways, we got these two. And then of course, <laughs> my two favorites, which are the cheap stuff. Uh, the Electromech, which people do not like. <laughs> and then Lloyd's Jungle Bike, which is the only set with Nia for this, I guess, first half besides Ninjago City Gardens. And the only poly bag I got is this Easter Chick one, which is new for spring 2021. It looks a little bit weird, but I like that. But that's not all, because look what else they had. They had the new Lego Friends and Lego Dots spring 2021 set. So I got the big Heart Lake City shopping mall, that $100 baby. Love the design of that. And also some Dots Series 4, which is so crazy because like Series 3 just came out last month. They're really pushing these out. I, I don't know, does this have dual molded uh, tiles again? I'm not sure. We'll have to open them up on camera and really figure it out. But I also got two more Dots sets, which are these right here. The new, I don't even know what these are, the little cube sets or bag tag sets. Uh, these were, okay, $7 a pop. I hope they were a little bit cheaper. But we'll have to take a look at each of these because I, I, I love when LEGO tries new styles of sets and this is like a weird box. It's a weird style of set, so I'm really interested. And then, where's the last? Oh, over here. I got the flower sets because I missed this on January 1st. I guess my store just didn't stock on them or something like that. And they had a lot of LEGO store exclusives there that I didn't expect to be in stock. Like they had the new uh, Spring Festival Chinese or Lunar New Year set. They had like the blacksmith shop. If it's sold out on Lego shop at home, it's probably at Legoland stores. And how I entered Legoland stores is that you could actually just enter by just wanting to shop. It's called a shopping pass and they give you one hour to shop. And if you come back in an hour, they refund all of your money for the ticket. That's what I ended up doing. But anyways, in terms of how I'm going to uh, schedule these videos, I already got a little bit of a plan. So I filmed some store footage there and it's gonna be a little bit weird. Tomorrow morning, you'll see a store footage video. And later today, I'll review one of the $20 sets. And then tomorrow, I'll try to review one of the bigger sets and we'll just carry that into the weekend. Let me know which set you want me to review first, but I guess a lot of people are going to just say the sea battle. So we'll just try to do that as the next one after a small one. But that's it for now. Go check your Legoland stores if you're near one. Again, you don't even have to really pay for a ticket because they refund the ticket. So you get the money back. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.